Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Pottstown, Pennsylvania, and we're here at the Ringing Rocks Roller Rink. Look at this amazing building. I honestly forgot how awesome this building looks. I've only ever been out here twice. Went out here once when I was a kid to do some roller skating, and then came out here once when my cousin had a birthday party here, which is pretty awesome. I actually do have my own pair of quads at home, my own pair of roller skates at home. I'm thinking someday we might have to come back out here and actually do a roller skating video. It's been so long since I've actually roller skated. I'm pretty sure I would remember how to roller skate. That's not something you forget, right? It's like riding a bike, right? You don't forget how to roller skate, I think, maybe, possibly, or I'll just break an arm on video and you guys will love it. But anyway, someday we're going to have to come back out here to this amazing, very old building and do some roller skating. The reason why we're here today, though, is not actually to do any roller skating. We're here at the Ringing Rocks Park, and there's a reason why they call it the Ringing Rocks Park. There's something pretty awesome. I'm going to show you guys. I brought a hammer. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys why I brought a hammer. So the Ringing Rocks Park. This place is really cool. I don't know why I've actually never been out here before. I, again, I've, I've been to the roller skating rink twice, but for whatever reason, I've never literally walked just right off the property, sort of, and come over here to this giant this giant field, I was going to say giant boulder of fields, dyslexia at its best, this giant field of boulders right here. Look at this. That is awesome. I had heard about this. I knew this was here. Well, I knew this was somewhere out here. I just did not, did not know where. I've been to a different Ringing Rocks Park that's out sort of in the like Doylestown area, out going out towards New Hope, Pennsylvania. Much larger field of boulders. It's really awesome. And all the all the boulders out there ring when you hit them with a hammer. And I knew there was one around here somewhere as well, but I had never been to this one. But today we're here. And again, we brought a hammer along with us. We're going to go do some, some rock ringing. Basically, when you come out to a park like this, if you have a park like this in your area, I don't know how frequent ringing rocks are. I don't know if all different states have these. From what I've been told, these are glacier boulders. So back during the, the ice age when a glacier was would stop this is where all the boulders would drop off you come out to areas like this you see giant fields of boulders or you just see areas where there are lots of big huge rocks like this spread all around it's usually it usually means there was a, a glacier drop off in that area and over the years when the glaciers would would dig up these rocks they would grind these rocks they'd pull them off of, of hills and out of the ground and whatnot and carry them along and then when the when the actual glacier would stop they would drop off and form big fields of nothing but just giant boulders like this. Pretty awesome. And these, these boulders ring. So we're going we're gonna to hit some of these. As you can see, a lot of them have already been hit. You can see all the, the worn away areas. So yes, if you do come out to an area like this, you have an area like this, look for the areas where people have smashed the rocks with a hammer already. That's usually a pretty good indication as to where you want to hit. So let's see. That one's not too, not too fancy. Some of these are going to be better than others. That one's got a nice ring to it. So these all have sort of like a bell kind of sound. That is pretty, pretty cool. I'm definitely digging this. See, some of them, like I said, are better than others. Also gotta be careful out here because um, in Pennsylvania, we do have snakes. We actually have rattlesnakes in Pennsylvania. We have, um, I'm trying to think of what all, what all the snakes that we don't wanna deal with here in Pennsylvania. We have rattlesnakes, we have the copperheads, we have, um, I don't know what other kind of snakes. We definitely have snakes out here. So I definitely wanna be careful because rattlesnakes are, are a thing to be worried about in Pennsylvania, which is crazy. You don't think, when you think rattlesnakes, I don't know about you, but I think, oh, like, you know, out west, out the, the wild west. But now here in Pennsylvania, we, we've, we've got them. There's a very famous um, scene with Steve Irwin. He's actually out somewhere in Pennsylvania, looking for things. I forget, if he's, I forget if he's actually looking for snakes. I think he is. He's looking for snakes and he's talking to the camera. He's saying what he has to say. And all of a sudden you hear, and he just, he stops. He looks down. There's a snake right between his legs. It's a pretty crazy scene. So um, yeah, digging or walk, walking around. I'm not, I'm not digging through these boulders, walking around through all these boulders. I gotta be a little, a little careful. So all right, let's hit some more rocks. They sound hollow. That is awesome.
I love the ring. I love the ring of these ringing rocks. I also don't want to fall down into these rocks. I'm, I'm being so careful. I have a hammer in one hand, a camera in the other, and I'm trying not to kill myself here. That is too cool. Have you guys ever been to a ringing rock park? Have you ever been anywhere where you can ring rocks? I know there are some places around where in the town, I've seen like videos where in the center of the town, they have a ringing rock. They just take one of these rocks, they, they take it out of a place like this, and they place it in the center of the town as a little focal point, and then with a sign, you know, ringing rock, whatever. And I don't know if they actually want you to come out there and hit them with hammers. I, get, I guess maybe they would. You would think if they're gonna actually make a ringing rock a focal point of the uh of the town they're gonna they're gonna put it in the middle of the town on a plat with a plaque saying this is a ringing rock you think they'd be okay with you hitting it with an actual hammer so people have actually done some spray painting out here as you can see so yeah i'm trying not to break my neck i don't know if you can actually stand on one of these and ring it at the same time maybe i don't know if that's me let's see nope just not a good rock So you can hear they all have different tones depending on the size of the rock and I guess the shape of the rock and all kinds of things like that. They all sound quite different. And this one here. This is pretty awesome. This is pretty cool. I've been wanting to come out here for a while. I actually try to come out here a couple of times. And every time I try to come out here, it's always raining or something. Pretty cool. So as I also said, there's also one of these out in the like Doylestown I'm trying to do this without falling. There's also one of these out in the Doylestown, Pennsylvania area. I've been out there before. I've taken my son out there. It's pretty awesome. We're definitely going to have to go back out there. Again, it's a much bigger... Oh, much, I'm starting to get winded climbing around all these rocks. It's a much bigger um, field as well. This one here, it's kind of small. I mean, this field is not that gigantic. It's pretty awesome, though. I mean, a big field of boulders. It's interesting. It's neat. It's definitely really cool. But the one out in the Doylestown area out towards New Hope. That one is huge. It is gigantic. I mean, it's just, you look off in the distance and it's just tons of boulders. Huge, insane field, which is really awesome. And then some of them are just clankers like that and don't really make any sound at all. That is just too, too cool. Science. I don't actually know what the science behind this is. I had heard, actually, from what I read online, um, I had read that apparently they, they don't 100% know the reason why they do this. Or so, again, so I've read online whether or not that's legit or not. You guys can leave comments down below. But I read that apparently scientists have theories as to why these rocks do what they do. But it's, like, not been 100% proven or something, or so I've, so I've been told. Supposedly, though, it's about the, the actual like, metals inside the rocks that do it. I think this rock is just kind of worn away to look like that, or is this from like decades of people smashing on this with a hammer? So apparently there's like iron or something like that inside these rocks, and that's what makes the, the clanging sound. Or again, so I've, so I've been told, so I've read. There's a spider. Get out of the way, spider. There you go. Just as long as it's a tiny spider, not a big spider. We also have very large wolf spiders around here. So there you go. You gotta watch out for the the uh, the rattlesnakes and the wolf spiders. I don't want to run into one of those either because those also freak me out. And the the good weather's here. The the spring is coming, so little spiders are coming out. I guarantee there's big spiders in here somewhere, and I guarantee the snakes that have been probably hibernating and keeping away all all winter are now starting to probably come out. And they're probably living down in these holes right here. It's probably full of all kinds of, all kinds of fun snakes that I don't want to, I don't want to mess with. So, all right, so let's try to get back towards the beginning. I'll try to do this without killing myself. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is kind of terrifying, actually. If you do come out here, try to be in good shape. Try to be. I mean, I'm, not that I'm in good shape at all, but try to be at least a little bit in good shape because it is very treacherous out here. That is too cool. So, all right, guys, Ringing Rock Park here in the Pottsgrove, Pennsylvania area. I think the actual address might say Potts Town, but I do believe we are in Pottsgrove. I saw signs saying, welcome to Pottsgrove Township. I think also some places say Sanatoga, but again, right here 
is the Ringing Rock. Ringing Rock Roller Rink here, again, in Potts Grove, Sanatoga, Potts Town, whatever you want to say, Pennsylvania. Very easy to find. You park there, you walk off the property two feet, and you're right here at this big, giant field of boulders. Oh, listen to that one. That is an awesome sounding rock. That's the best one right there. That is really, really cool. Also, I recommend maybe wearing some glasses, whether the safety glasses or whether you're wearing legit glasses because, um, I don't know if you noticed, when we hit this, every time you hit that, little little shards of rocks kind of fly off and some of them are, like already come towards my face. So thankfully I have glasses on. Maybe safe, safety glasses and a hammer. Come out here, bring some safety glasses, bring a hammer and have a whack at all the rocks out here, all the giant glacier boulders out here that would hit with a hammer that most of them, mostly, sound like bells. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Again, if you've ever been out to a Ringing Rock Park like this, whether it's this one, the one in Doylestown, one from another state, or maybe even more in Pennsylvania, I have no idea how many of these exist. If you've been to one, leave a comment down below. Let me know your experience. Did you have fun going out there and smashing, smashing rocks with hammers to hear, to hear them clang? like bells. It's pretty awesome, guys. So, all right, with that, we are done. So as always, thank you all so much for, the, for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button. Hit that. I'm like trying to talk and bounce at the same time. Be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. Look at that. Look at that eagle. Or that, that's not an eagle. It's a hawk. It was another one. Look at those. They're huge. Those might be red-tailed red hawks, I think. I've actually been in the cage with those. I went to a zoo. I had a friend who used to work at a zoo and they had some of those on display and they brought me into the cage with them to feed them. And they were huge. They were like the size of this rock. I mean, they were, they were very large birds. You see them flying, you think, oh, they look pretty big. You get close to one of them, they're like half your body size. They're gigantic birds. They're pretty crazy. Anyway, side story there. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do can help support the show, keeping the show going. So we can come out to interesting places like this. I'm kind of stuck right now. I have no idea how I want to get back over to where I want to go. I need to get back over that way and I need to do it with that. I'm kind of stuck in this little like ditch area. It's weird. These rocks all sort of form this one little like cavernous area here i'm kind of stuck in this area i don't know how to get back to where i want to go so all right guys like i said check down below for all the different links hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you guys do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed then i will see you in tomorrow's video if i make it out of here alive oh yeah that is pretty amazing so all right, guys, again, that's it. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if I do make that out of here alive in one piece, if I don't break my leg, fall down here and die, get bitten by a, a rattlesnake or a wolf spider, then I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.